Oh, maybe I just need to crack it in the brain. They're dissecting crayfish. What? What does that mean? You don't want me to stare at You don't want me to stare at your crayfish? I stare at it. I stare at the crayfish. They are. We keep chopping them up. What did you name yours? Megan, what did you name yours? Yes, the girls are naming their dissection specimens again. This is Krabby Jr. Krabby Jr. This is Mr. Krabby. Mr. Krabby. And that's Mrs. Mr. Krabby. Move your hand over. Let me see Krabby. Mr. Krabby. That was your very first step. You shouldn't have been cutting it. Very appealing. Who is this? Mrs. Krabby. Mrs. Krabby. They have a whole family of crabs. Mm -hmm. And that's crabby. Of crayfish, right? Crabby aunt. We named your crab. Crabby aunt, but my crab's a boy. Oh. oh. Well, it's another crabby junior, though. Okay. Well, oh, no. two crabby it could be crabby senior. <laughs> Maybe he's crabbo. Maybe he's a grandpa. Soul? He's crabberto. Okay. <laughs> crabberto. <laughs> Does anybody have a since 930, right? Yeah. So how are we doing here? I need a pencil. It's Have you been able to identify your parts yet? The gill. Yeah. Um, I found out it's a guy because it has the long thingies. <laughs> Very scientific. This one. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm on camera, so I'm like, yeah. I know all the scientific names. Does that make you nervous? Well, I don't see your face. Does that help? No. I only see <laughs> crayfish. I feel rushed. These are the. What are they called? Oh, these are swimmerettes. Yeah. And these are the claws, and they pinch really bad. And its mouth is right. Oh man, I can't see it. Right inside. Okay. There. I can get my. All right, now I have to cut open the tail. Yeah. Anyway, and it, and these little thingies are the arms that hold the food steady when it's eating it, and its mouth opens like this instead of like that. Very nice. And that's an antenna. An antenna. Broken antenna. Until this guy's really chopped up. It's Billy Bob Jr. the Thod. Is that what you call it? Chopped up? No, Billy Bob Jr. the Thod. So is this as gross as you thought it would be? I just don't like it looking at me. Oh yeah. You lay him the other way maybe. So the girls are clearly enjoying their dissections, right? Are yeah. the guys enjoying it? Yes. Yes, we're having fun. See, she smiles. <laughs> Her, she's fake. She's not enjoying it. Uh -huh. I have to cut open the head to get to the brain. Yeah, see how the boys are faring. It's going to be like a reality video. The gill, I mean the tissue. And then the tissue. Maxillary. I don't know. Below oh, that. please help me. Seriously, I really need help. Seriously, I didn't read it. Heads. See, I told you this is how my week has been. And they, that I feel like they didn't pull off the gill. So, the now, hold it. So, they like can put stuff on the side. So, now you're up to. See, aren't you thankful Amber stayed? Use your forceps yeah. to remove all of them from one side of the crayfish. Because I'm a pro at biology. That's right. Yeah. I never did it. Dissection. Super duper Trace. smart. Shh, don't tell me about the range of sizes. I know you're taking a video. Yes, I am. Um, <laughs> I'm just not complaining because I'm a good boy. I went and visited all the girls, and now I'm checking out I'm the guys' crayfish. <laughs> oh, I would remove them. You couldn't remove them with your forceps. Okay. okay. Oh, is that Are you being able to identify a part? It says, yep. essentially grasp them with your forceps and pluck them. The maxilla sheet oh, here and these little pieces. What if they read? The mandibles are the lighter part here. Mm. Then that would be amazing. Maxillae are the rougher part right under it. <laughs> oh, wow. Or over it, really. Where are the testes? Not and he is actually oh. giving me real scientific names. <laughs> <No. laughs> oh, wait, we don't have to find the testes. Oh, I kept First is one of the girls right here. He's a thingy. I'll do it later. All right, where's the heart? Gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Uh, the heart should be close to it.
I'm <laughs> yeah. So remove those with your four cups. No, no, pull those aside. I'm all oh, yeah. lost. Yeah, I know, that's so Maybe. But I'm just looking at your oh. creep. <laughs> Yay. Okay, say that again. What happened? It came apart. This may happen to your crayfish. The head fell off. Was it just brittle or what? It was just brittle. And it just came apart. Lovely. Can you see how dry it is? Even though there are 14, yeah, I take it back, 12 dissection specimens in here today, the smell is much better than when I was in biology. How's yours going? <laughs> the surgeon is engrossed in his work. <laughs> <laughs> and my science loving girl is carrying her crayfish around the room. She's showing everyone and torturing her brother with it. See her over there? She loves her crayfish. <laughs> There she is, carrying her crayfish around, <laughs> I was taking taunting it around. people. I was taking it around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She loves her crayfish. Does this one have a name? Not yet. I said I'm going to name it after Not that. yet. She's our science girl who loves dissections. She probably knows all about it. I told my mom, I probably have no problem taking a dead, uh, a part, a dead person. <laughs> it's just working with live ones that I don't want to do. I'm not going to go into nursing. I can see that. If I ever get the opportunity to take it to... So you're going to be Dr. G, medical examiner. Here she is. <laughs> and her name has a G in it. That's appropriate. Yes. She'll be Dr. M, medical examiner. 